It's pretty amazing how good of a car it is, considering outside of the engine, it's all built on pre-war technology. At the 1948 London Motor Show, everything changed for Jaguar. They introduced the XK120, which was the birth of one of the most celebrated sports and race car programs of the 50s and the 60s. The XK120 was both a design exercise and a testbed for the new twin cam XK motor, which turned out to be so successful that it would power road-going Jaguars for over 40 years. While originally offered in an open two-seater configuration, in 1951 they introduced a more luxurious fixed head coupe featuring roll-up windows and a gorgeous walnut dash. So I got this car from an older gentleman who was looking for some car storage over the winter one year. And I worked out of my garage, but I had a lot of space. And so I offered uh, you know, to store the car for him for free. Uh, my payment would be having the ability to look at it every day when I went to work. And at the end of the winter, he decided that he wanted to sell it. And so I was able to, to negotiate a deal with him. And, and that's how I, I acquired it. Nearly 60% of XK120s were imported into the United States. After finding racing success in European events like Le Mans, Targo Florio, and the Mille Miglia, the XK120 fixed head coupe would go on to be the first imported car to achieve victory in NASCAR. The success of the XK120 in the United States inspired GM engineers to roll the Jaguar into their design studio to be studied for their upcoming sports car, the Corvette. Uh, you know, they called it the XK120 because they felt it would reach a top speed of 120 miles an hour without knowing that it would, but it, it turned out that it actually could do that, and it was the fastest production car at the time. You know, I love the story behind this car, or, or the XK120. You know, originally what Jaguar wanted to do was create a luxurious four-door sedan and put a race car engine in it, and they wanted to showcase that. Unfortunately, when the show came up, they really weren't ready. So with just a couple of weeks, Sir William Lyons and his team created this sports car, and uh, the idea was to showcase the XK engine, and it turns out that the, the XK120 stole the show, and they got so much interest in it, they were forced to put it into production. The XK120 is simply wonderful to drive. It's a car built to go fast and for long periods of time. It was a sensation in 1948, and it continues to be one of the world's most alluring cars. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content on exotic cars, sports cars, and classic cars, please click the logo in the center of the screen to subscribe.